Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can combine multiple web files into one, so let's get right into it. So, if you're in Visual Studio, you can right click on your project in the Solution Explorer, and then go to Open Folder in File Explorer. This is going to be where my web files are stored. You can store them wherever you want, just make sure you get the file path correct. And since my web files are right next to my Python file, that means I can just reference the files by their file name and no folders. So at the top, we need to do import wave. We don't need to install any other libraries. The Python standard library contains all we need and we need the wave module. Now we're going to write a bit of code. We're going to do def, combine underscore web underscore files, output underscore file and input files. This is the definition of our function that's going to basically combine the web files. We'll take in a parameter called output file. This is going to be the file path for our combined web file and input files will be an array containing a list or an array of file paths that we want to combine. Then we do with wave.open input underscore file zero rb as web underscore file params equals web underscore file dot get, get params. Basically, what we're doing here is we're going to be getting the parameters of the first web file. Parameters are things like sample rate, number of channels, and so on. Because we'll be needing these when we create our new web file, so we'll just get what's ever in the first web file for consistency reasons. After that, we're then going to do with wave.open output underscore file wb. By the way, rb means read bytes and wb means write bytes. As output, output.setParams params. So basically, write into a file, our output file, and we're also going to be creating it, and we're going to set para the parameters to be the parameters of the first input file. Now make sure you get your indentation right for the next part. So still inside the with statement, so we can still use the output file reference, we're going to do for file in input files. So we're going to be looping through every single input file. We're going to do it with wave.open file, rb, so reading bytes, as wav underscore file. Then we do data equals wave underscore file dot read frames, wave dot underscore file dot get frames, and then we can do output dot write frames data. Basically, we're getting the audio data from an input file and then writing it to our combined file. And if we do this for every single input file, we have successfully written all of the data from the input file into our output file and combined all of the web files into one. And that's it for the code, for the function. So let's call it. So I've got an array of input file paths. We've got three, but you can have more or less. I recommend you have at least two though, because you actually want to combine files together. So we can do input underscore files equals file1.wav, file2.wav and file3.wav. Make sure you get your file paths correct. Then we could do output file equals combines.wav. This is going to be the file which combines all of our web files and where we're going to store it. And then we call the function we made combine underscore web files, output file and input files, passing in the data into this function so, you can, so then we can combine the web files. So let's save our work and hit play. No error occurred. That is a good sign. And as you can see, we have got um, a file called combined.wav. So we'll play each one one by one. This is web file number one. This is web file number two. And finally, this is web file number three. Awesome. Now let's play this combines.wav file. This is web file number one. This is web file number two. And finally, this is web file number three. So, as you can see here, we did successfully combine the audio from those three web files into one. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.